Let's see another practical problem on trigonometry. Okay. The shadow of a pole is twenty meter shorter than the shadow length as the altitude of sun rather not the altitude elevation angle of the sun changes from 30 to 45 degree. Find the length of the pole. Okay, so you are told that the shadow of a pole is 20 meter shorter than the shadow length as the elevation of angle of the sun changes from 30 to 45 degree. So let's say you have a pole PQ. <coughs> okay. Now the shadow of this pole at two different angles namely 45 degree and 30 degree the shadow is going to be what? Shadow is basically in this area. Let's call this as P, Q, R, S. Right? So what you know is that S, Q is 20 meter less than RQ or rather RQ minus SQ is equal to 20 meter now what is RQ minus RQ it is basically RS so you know that RS which is this portion is 20 meter okay and you know the two elevation angle you have to find out PQ. Okay. So let's say PQ is equal to H and let's also say that QS is equal to any variable. Let's say A. Right? Now, if you see, you need to find out this, and the only thing that you know is this side. So, what's the relationship between these two sides in terms of trigonometric ratios? This is side opposite to, let's say, let's take angle R, 30 degree. So, the relationship between angle R and this side is, this side is the height or the side opposite to angle R PQ upon QR so PQ is the height which is side opposite to angle R and this is side adjacent to angle R so therefore this is the relationship is tan now what's the length of PQ we have assumed it to be H what's the length of QR QR is equal to A plus 20 is equal to what's the value of tan 30 degree tan 30 degree is equal to 1 upon root 3 or you get root 3 into h is equal to a plus 20 let's put this as equation 1 
Now similarly, if you see angle S, what is the relationship between 45 degree this angle and the side PQ and SQ? Again tan. So we can write that tan 45 degree is equal to PQ upon SQ is equal to H upon A. And we know that tan 45 degree is equal to 1. So H is equal to A. Putting the value of H into equal value of this H is equal to A in this equation, we get root 3 A is equal to A plus 20. Or we can write this as root A minus A is equal to 20. You take A as common, so you get root 3 minus 1 is equal to 20 or A is equal to 20 divided by root 3 minus 1. Similarly, H is equal to A, so therefore the height of the tower is equal to 20 upon root 3 minus 1. Okay? Can you want to try to solve this further? You can just do it like this, 20 into root 3 plus 1. Now root 3, multiply both the sides by root 3 plus 1. Right? So basically you get 20 into root 3 plus 1 into this. Now this gives a minus b into a plus b which we know is a square minus b square. So effectively this will into this will give us what? root 3 square minus 1 square or 20 into root 3 plus 1 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so 2 gets this, this 10 or 10 into root 3 plus 1 so h is equal to 10 into root 3 plus 1 